So, so I mentioned in my last video about a uh, yogi, a yogi, being a yogi or aspiring to be something like a yogi. Um, so if you, when you, when you see someone or a type of person or you have this idea of who you want to become, um, sit down and figure out and write down the qualities that make up that person or that type of person or whatever that you want. Um, so for like being a yogi, I would like, when I did this little activity for myself, I um, wrote down they are, they've seemed very calm, very serene, very steady, very, you know, I just always think of them as being loving and giving and healthy and most of the time eating organic stuffs, you know, like healthy, I can't say healthy junk because it's not junk because it's healthy. So it's good. It's not junk, but uh, stuff healthy, um, crap like quinoa. It's not like crap green stuff which I need more green stuff we can all use more green stuff um and I like some green stuff I don't live in Colorado though that that, that probably sounds. um anyways so again qualities um and, and yogis also seem very focused so write down all the things that you want about that or that you that you like about that person blah 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 then realize that who you want to be or who you think you want to be like and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Typically we see a person, we're like, we want to be like that person and we want to be like that person and that's who we think we want to be like because we see that person, they exist. We know what they're like. Try to think about visualizing and creating someone that's you that's never existed before because that's who you're going to be. Like, we don't, we can't think, oh, I want to be like, it's hard for us to think we can, who we really want to be like, because we can't conceptualize it because we can't say, oh, I want to be like this person. It's, it's so easy to be like, oh, I want Jennifer Aniston's haircut from Friends because we've seen it. It's like, we know it. We want that. But what if we thought about, we want our hair like that, but more like our own, like a different color, blah, blah, blah. It's like, that's like a really trite example of, um, what I'm trying to say for changing your life personality here, but that sort of thing. So my example, um, when you're creating vision of yourself for me, it's like, okay, I want to have some more yogi, yogi like traits. Like I want to practice yoga. I want to practice meditation. I want to love more, um, take better care of my body. My body is my temple or actually see it that way and actually love it for once. Um, cause our bodies are amazing. Like your body is strong and capable. Um, and it will do even more greater things if you show it love and treat it well. Um, so it's like, I want those things, but let's face it. I'm always going to be a spaz. I'm never going to be like completely calm, but well, I'm just going to always be a spaz. But if internally I can feel more peace and calm, that's what I want. I don't necessarily want the, Oh, I'm a Zen master because that's not me. That's not who I am. That would not be true to me. I can never not be a spaz, but I want to feel more of that calmness and that stillness. Um, so think, think of that when you're like trying to create your vision for yourself and who you want to become. Um, yeah. And let me know in the comments your ideal self and who that is or who you aspire to be. That is truly you. Thank you.